Hello friends. The determination of the sample break in abrasion resistance fabrics with the Martindale method. The number of cycles until the sample breaks as a result of the abrasion resistance of fabric is determined. To do this, we will use the Martindale abrasion and pilling tester, a 38 mm sample cutter and a 140 mm wide abrasive cloth cutter, a sample holder, load cells, Martindale abrasive device to place the presser foot and the apparatus that weighs 2.5 kilograms. First, the test specimen is conditioned under a minimum of 24 hours of standard atmospheric conditions. We spread the conditioned test sample on a flat surface. We take a 38 mm sample from the spread specimen. While taking the sample, it is taken in a way that it includes each pattern in patterned fabrics. Areas that are not wrinkled are cut 3 cm from the inside. Sponge foam is not used when the mass of specimen is 500 grams per square meter. Foam sponge is used only for samples under 500 grams per square meter. 100% standard wool sample is cut as abrasive fabric for 38 mm wide samples. One hundred and forty millimeter felt is placed before the fabric we cut on the table. The samples that are cut are placed in the sample holder to start the test. Thirty-eight millimeter wide samples are attached to the sample holder. For this, the collar of the sample holder is removed from its slot. The sample in the Martindale abrasion and pilling tester on the table is attached to the holder. The sample is placed into the collar in a way that its front side faces the front side, that is downwards. If the sample is lighter than 500 grams per square meter, foam is inserted. The foam is also cut as 38 millimeters. The device is placed on the foam and the sample holder is compressed. In this way, three pieces of 38 mm diameter samples are firmly placed in the sample holder. The samples are placed in the abrasing device. First, the Lucy Goy's pattern of abrasion device is checked. For this, a sample of 140 mm wide and A4 sheet are cut. The sample we have cut is inserted into its slot on the abrasing table and the collar is squeezed. The balls of the device are removed from the pilling slots and are placed in the abrasing slots. These balls allow the sample holder manual to move properly.
The balls are moved towards the center. The manual is placed in the slot. The Lucy Goy's pattern is composed of 16 rubbing movements and the number of abrasion rubbing is entered to the device as 16. A pencil is placed in the sample holder of the table, which we will check. We begin to check by pressing the start button. After the device has stopped, the pencil is removed from the slot and the pattern is checked. This process is repeated separately for each table. To do this, pattern ranges are checked. When pattern intervals are equal, we accept that the device is suitable. Then we put the abrasive sample to prepare the abrasive table. For this, we put down 140 millimeters of weft. We put 100% wool abrasive fabric inside the felt that we have placed. When placing the sample, we make sure that the thread direction is parallel to the table. Putting the presser foot on the abrasive cloth, we attach it to the table with squeezing collars. Removing the 2.5 kg presser foot from the abrasive fabric, we insert the sample manual. Then, we place the samples on the tables with the same numbers in accordance with the number on the sample holder. We attach it to the table with the compression apparatus. Checking the number of the second sample, we place it on the abrasive table as well. If the sample is technically used, specimens such as upholstery or bed linen, we place a weight of 12 kilopascals on it. Except for household textiles such as upholstery and bed linen, we place a weight of 9 kilopascals. The sample we are currently testing is garment fabric and we are putting a weight of 9 Kilo pascals. A total weight of 595 kilograms is applied. Then we enter the number of rubbing abrasion. Resetting the value on the screen, we check the sample every 1000 cycles of the total rubbing abrasion number is 5000. 2000 cycles if it is between 5000 to 20,000 RPM. It is checked every 5,000 cycles if it is between 20,000 to 40,000. If it is higher than 40,000, it is checked every 10,000 cycles. In case of abrasion, these intervals can be more frequent. To do this, we initially enter 2,000 RPM and press the start button.
We will check the samples at certain intervals. At the end of 2000 cycles, the device will automatically stop. We use an eight times magnifying glass or loop to check the brakes. And when there are two different weft or warp yarn brakes, we end the test. If there is no abrasion when we check it, we enter 2000 RPM again and go on to the abrasive friction. We stop the test after the sample breaks.